On August 4th, 2013, at age 37, Brad had a hemorrhagic stroke caused by a ruptured AVM. On that day, it presented itself acutely with a massive headache, uh, slurred speech, and paralysis. Within 30 minutes, he was in a coma. The day it happened, they told us that it was, there was a decent possibility that he would never walk again. He was in a coma for how long? Five weeks? Five, over five weeks. And then he was in the hospital and then in rehab and it was really very tough for him. He wasn't talking that much. And I said, boy, there's got to be a way to get him to talk again. And I gave him, I put a cell phone in his hand and I called him up and I was in the same room and he said, hello, and he started talking and he would, he learned how to start talking again on the cell phone, which was like, wow. They told me that we had a bunch of things in our favor. He's young, he's physically fit, and those things apparently um, create reserves. I know for him, a full recovery means being able to run again. It's, it's part of how he defines himself. Jessica said to Brad before they got married, I want you to run the marathon with me. And he, being the athlete that he is, came right up to the level, and then some, that he had to push her along the last three or four miles to finish <laughs> the marathon. The goal is to be able to do long distance running again. I approach it like a job. The mentality of a distance runner has helped. I can't even express how proud we are of them, both of them. Yes. As, as Jessica said, it happened to them for a reason. And her mission and their mission is to get that Brad back on his feet and for them to go and help other people get back on their feet. And they have been an inspiration for so many stroke victims. Run for Brad, baby. Right now we are raising money to build a lower limb robotics clinic at Burke. The goal would be to use robots to help people with traumatic brain injuries to uh, re-educate their muscles and to wake up the connection with the brain. Okay, yep. ready? One, two, three. There's no single thing that Brad has done in his therapy that has produced as um, immediate results at the lower limb program. You need to trust a little bit. Get that full step with the robotics, body parts are mo not moving. He'll do three weeks of robotics and all of a sudden the body part starts moving on its own. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's walking. Come to your left, come to your left. Come to your left. What we purchased with the money we've raised so far is the exoskeleton, uh, which he is currently using, and the ankle bot. You'll hear the beep. So that's why we have you shifting. We want you to shift your weight. I feel somewhat of a sense of a duty to um, have it be sanctioned by the government. We never imagined that such a challenge could bring out this aspect of Jessica. We didn't know the depth of it. All I can ask for is your patience, support, love, and most importantly, your prayers that Brad will make a full recovery. We're using technology in new ways, so it's very uh, contemporary. We need to be able to do this work. We need to learn what's the best to do, uh, and we need to make this service available for people. We need to get the government behind it and start funding this kind of work. Uh, we've realized as a family that it's small steps that ultimately get you to your goal. Time and patience. Everybody's told us time and patience. The, tr you know, the transformation, the, the Burke-Brad connection has, has been a tremendous joint venture. Daddy. Every week we see progress and the kid just keeps on plugging. And uh, Marsha and I both thank Burke for the, you know, the outstanding job they've done with him.